population of Nairobi is about 3 million, but two-thirds are actually living in the slums. And like a pleasant Kibera, people are yearning for change. Well, each year we have a theme for CGI. It's clear now that the most effective commitments are those that mobilize different partners where people do things together. Yeah, mama. And I think the greatest impact that CGI has had for us is it's challenged us to to continue to do more. The idea behind coming to Cabrera was to really listen to the community and find out what their needs are, and then utilize our network and our partners to help make a greater impact. Baba. During the, the, the medical camp for the, the Stacken Foundation, maybe they've never worked in Kibera, but if this is the first start, they're getting it right, because they're working with the community. Kennedy, you know, grew up in Kibera. He came to school to America on scholarship, came a long way but he always wanted to make life better for people in his neighborhood. I'm the co-founder of Shining of Communities. We have a school for girls that integrate with other social activities in the community. Shining Hope for Communities is an organization that works in Kibera on the bigger issue of urban poverty. The problems here, they're so interconnected, and so there's education, health, economic empowerment, clean water, sanitation, and just general disempowerment of women. But if you could change that, so many of these other indicators would change as well. Thank you for sharing it with us. Now that we know some of the challenges uh, Kennedy's facing, Maybe we can meet some other people outside that he doesn't know, and we can bring those people in, and together we'll grow our strength. By changing their lives, by giving them hope to life, you don't know, they might be the good leaders of tomorrow. Partnerships are the lifeblood of CGI. Partnerships are the reason for CGI. That's why I want more partners to come in so that we can be part of this change. That's what we're going to focus on this year, how we can get people together more, have more effective teams to have a bigger impact. Come on, come on, come on. Let's build a better future. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Vice Chair Clinton Foundation, Chelsea Clinton, with Kennedy Odede and Jessica Posner Odede. This is really exciting for me um, because Kennedy and Jess are two of my favorite people. Um, I think for reasons that were just made abundantly clear by the video we just saw. And they certainly embody mobilizing for action. Um, so I'd like to invite the man who's known as the mayor of Cabrera, Kennedy, to tell us a little bit about his work. Thank you so much, Chelsea and President Clinton. Jessica and I are so honored to be here at CGI. After living in Kibera for 23 years, I learned firsthand what is needed to transform communities like mine. In four short years, we have seen the power of mobilizing partners to change the, to change the devastating reality of Kibera's extreme poverty. We have, grown, we have grown to provide over 50,000 people with services ranging from education for girls to clean water and from medical care to economical empowerment skills. We have seen the incredible power of investing in community. Growing up in Kibera, struggle, struggling simply to survive, I never imagined that one day, I'll stand on this stage and ask you for, to join us. Together, we can build a better Kibera. I hope you will join me in our movement. Thank you. Oh yes, Kennedy definitely deserves a woo. Many woos. Um, and we're so excited and grateful for Kennedy and Jess's example. Um, I was just whispering to Jess, I can't believe that it's only been four years since they launched Shining Hope for Communities. Uh, she told me proudly that in November, they'll start construction on their next school for girls. 
um, which will open in an astonishing six months subsequent to that. Um, and we're really excited and grateful for how our CGI community has mobilized around Kennedy and Jess's great work. So with that in mind, please join me in welcoming Bill Austin of the Starkey Hearing Foundation, Stephen Sawwich of Starkey Hearing Foundation, and Todd Gleason of Pintair. The Starkey Hearing Foundation has been a key partner at CGI from the beginning. Their 2010 commitment to provide one million hearing aids in this decade has given individuals around the world a new chance to reach their full potential. And they played a lead role, as we saw on the video, in developing the idea to mobilize their work in Kibera. For this specific commitment, they will provide 2,000 hearing aids per year for the next three years, and they will embed their hearing health services in Shining Hope's health clinic, which currently serves over 12,000 people a year. One of the key aims of the Pintair Foundation is providing affordable and safe drinking water in some of the most undeveloped regions in the world. This year, they are committing to work with Shining Hope's Cabrera School for Girls Clean Water Access Project, which I had the privilege of seeing last summer, and they will help to double the number of Cabrera residents who have access to clean, safe drinking water. They will work to have the number of drinking water-related illnesses currently being treated in a community health clinic, and they will certainly help Kennedy and Jess reach their full potential. It's these kind of partnerships that define the work here at CGI, embody mobilizing for impact, and I hope that any of you that are as inspired as I am by the work of Kennedy and Jess will help them come back on this stage with new partners next year. Let's give all of these partners a round of applause.